What is happening, you guys? Out in the Kwazulu Natal Midlands today, getting some herping done. At a spot that very few people actually know about, so that's quite a good thing. Permanent water source, endless supply of rocky hillsides, which basically stretch right on from here, down that way, as well as this side over here. Plenty of rocks, which should hopefully mean plenty of herbs. So we're going to get hiking and see where we can turn up. Got a really pretty male crag lizard. Super stoked. Definitely the most colorful one I've seen in quite some time. I'm sure there are loads of them hiding out around here. You've got this, the sort of like rock and rock on rock surfaces, like all of these rocks are pretty much sitting on more rock, which provides great rocky cracks and crevices for these guys to hide in. Decent size too. So what we're going to do is get some photos and keep pushing. First snake of the morning, a herald snake. A really dark one, sporting some nice, some nice color on those lips. <laughs> Despite how common they are, it's actually been a couple months since I found a herald snake. Pretty cool. Sheltering underneath that rock right over there. Little stream at the bottom, surrounded by pristine grassland habitat. We have got a puff adder. It was out just sort of basking amongst these rocks here. I walked right by it and I heard like a bit of a hiss. Looked down, probably about a meter away from my foot. This big dude was out and about just chilling. Really nice contrast on him. I'm not going to get too close. These are highly, highly venomous and you would not want to take a bite from a puff adder. Especially not way out here, about a hundred kilometers from the nearest hospital. Pretty cool. It's always great finding them out in pristine habitat like this. So puff adders carry a really potent cytotoxic venom. It's a cell destroying venom, causes severe swelling, pain, in serious cases tissue damage. We're just going to grab some photos and put them right back, let him go about his daily duties. Just flipping some old concrete around here and two young scarp stickers. This little guy's biting the heck out of me. So this would be the rhombic scarp sticker or spotted grass neck if you prefer. Really cool, they're still young, they get pretty big. They could exceed a meter in length. And by the look of it, the one is a plain phase. There is no patterning on them at all. Nothing at all. Let go, will you? Whereas this other one, although called spotted scarp stick, is the ones we get here in KZN, typically look a little bit more striped. So we're still busy with the concrete here, and something really cool turned up. Pretty decent sized olive snake. Really nice find. So they used to be classified as olive house snakes but they've turned to just olive snakes, part of the water snake family too, like Odonomorphus. But these guys would be preying largely on rodents of this size. Really jerky, quite bitey for an olive snake as well. Yikes. Beautiful snakes, some really nice olive green in them. Here in Kwazulu Natal, they do tend to be a little bit more darker. Some of them almost completely black in color, but this guy's pretty nice.
little bushfeld rain frog here, Breviceps adspersus. Easily one of the crumpiest looking little frogs in the country. They're absolutely adorable. Generally a more semi-fossorial species, spending much of their time sort of underground. For example, he was sort of burrowed up in that hole. Pulled him out gently under that rock. So yeah, semi-fossorial, typically emerging after rainfall or during rainfall. There have been moments walking on some steep hillsides during some pretty heavy rain and you just see these guys missioning around everywhere. Got hold of a brown house snake, pretty decent sized one too. Always a pleasure seeing decent sized house snakes despite just how common a species they are. Perhaps one of the most common species in the whole country. But it's cool, out in the field you don't really see too many adults. Loads of juveniles, but adults not so much. Now like the olive snake we picked up just now, these guys will be feeding largely on uh, large skinks at this size, but more particularly rodents. But when they're younger they have more of a lizard and skink based diet. Really handy constrictors to have around. They do keep the rodent populations down quite well. Awesome, gonna grab some more photos and just let them go. Fairly decent sized southern brown egg eater. Just taking shelter underneath the, all this old rubble we've got laying on the ground here. Some asbestos, some old wood. It's been a minute, so quite cool. Always a pleasure. These guys feed strictly on bird eggs. So quite a, a unique diet. Not a bad size either. Just gonna let him go, take some cell phone pics and put him right back.